Men and women throughout the country will be marching to protest the inauguration of Donald Trump. It's referred to as the Women's March, and it will not only take place on Inauguration Day, but the Saturday after, people are still planning on getting together in various cities throughout the U.S. Now, interestingly enough, police have decided that while they will wear their body cams, they will not turn their body cams on as they're policing these protests. Now, there is an interesting twisty twist to the story. The ACLU actually agrees with police not using their body cams. Now, hmm. uh, let's see why. From the very beginning, the question about body cameras is, will they actually be serving as an oversight mechanism to help reduce abuse by police officers, or are they going to become just another surveillance tool that serves the interests of law enforcement? Now, that is actually an ACLU policy analyst, a senior policy analyst. And so the ACLU is trying to balance the issue of, you know, holding cops accountable for their actions and people's privacy. Yeah, so the ACLU is super important, and I agree with them on at least 80% of the issues. And on the issues I agree with them, I think it's uh, critical that they're around and do the good work that they do. But I do believe that sometimes uh, they go overboard. So I think this is one of them. They're overthinking it. No, the main problem isn't that they're like, oh, you're at the Trump inauguration and protesting. Like, people, they're out in public, right? The main problem is if cops do something to the protesters. Mm -hmm. like, there's a reason why we have body cams, and if you turn them off, that lets the cops know, go house. You think the cops want to turn it off because they're concerned about your civil liberties? No, they want to turn it off because it's going to be hard, they think it's going to be hard, to be fair to them, hard to control the crowd. And so sometimes they're going to have to, you know, go a little further to control the crowd, they think, and they don't want you to see that. ACLU, you're way overthinking this. So, by the way, they, the other things they go overboard on is, they think, oh, it's uh, money in politics is freedom. Uh, you should be free to bribe politicians. It's a freedom of speech thing. Freedom of speech. Yeah, no, which it's of not. course we it's disagree with. It's preposterous. Okay, so um, let me give you a little tidbit of info that might change your mind. Ah, okay, no, I because no. I was 100% with you until I heard this part of it. Okay, go. One danger is that police can run images obtained during a peaceful protest through facial recognition software, though, so they could identify nearly everyone who attended. Over 117 million people are in a facial recognition database that police in many states have access to. So the concern is that they are going to collect uh, intelligence on these individuals who are very vocally against Trump and maybe use it against them later. But this was the only thing that really raised a red flag for me. And then I thought about something. Look, the NSA already has a ton of compromising information on pretty much everyone, mm -hmm. right? And so if the government wants to use that information against us, to intimidate us, to discourage us to be politically active, Oh, they're going to do it. They already have what, what it takes. So I agree with you. I think it's way more important to have evidence of what's actually occurring in terms of policing than to worry so much about facial recognition technology and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, look, I'm not trying to get to the co at the cops in Washington. Uh, I was arrested in Washington during uh, civil disobedience in Democracy Spring, protesting money in politics. And the cops were very decent to me. Um, they accidentally gave me a nickname. They said, hey, do you go by any nicknames? Because they ask everybody they arrest. I'm like, yes, of course, El Jefe. And they wrote it down, so now it's official. Uh, <laughs> Jen Huger, L a.k.a. El Jefe. Oh, my God. Uh, anyways, and, and some of the cops, as I was being, as I did the paperwork on the next day, mm -hmm. were like, hey, Young Turks, I watched the show. So I'm not trying to get at you. But right now, is the bigger issue in America registries of protesters? or police abu abuse. Macro picture overall, it's police abuse. That's why we have the body cams in the first place. If the bigger issue becomes police surveilling us through those body cameras, well then that's a new fact pattern and then we'll have to reconsider. But that's not where we are today. So that's why I wouldn't turn them off. And I, the second part of this is that I feel like Trump's already in our heads. Uh -huh. Like people are already starting to wig out like, what, but what if he takes the videos? First of all, he's not that competent. Right, <laughs> like, oh my God, assign someone to figure out who came to the protest. It'll take months for him to do mm -hmm. that, right? Anyway, but in all seriousness, like, don't everybody's paranoid, and and I'm not saying that Trump's not going to do bad things, but in fact, we have watchdog journalists who are ready 
to, to share that with you, to figure it out and, and to reveal it. But don't get so jittery that like I'm worried about a protest I'm, and let's turn the body cameras off and overreact before things happen mm -hmm. because you're going to overreact in the wrong direction. I want everybody to go to the protest. I do. I yeah. want the cops to have the body cameras on so they act responsibly. That's not a bad thing. So, and I get ACLU has to do their job, but in this case, I think they're wrong. We already hired one investigative reporting team thanks to you guys. Let's hire the second right now. Go to tytnetwork.com/go.